After undergoing extensive allergy tests, Stephanie Rolfe found out exactly what was making her miserable. Tests showed she was allergic to grass and pollen, but she also suspected she was allergic to certain dogs, which is how she wound up with Harry. We had to get rid of my other dog and we wanted a smaller dog that didn't shed. And so my dad looked online and picked Harry out. Stephanie thought owning a dog that sheds less and has shorter hair would help, but it turns out hypoallergenic pets are one of the biggest myths in allergies. In short, they really don't exist. Uh, it's really not the hair that causes the problems. Dr. Nabil Farouki is an allergist at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. He says dander and pet fur can be an issue, but other proteins cause allergic reactions as well. And those are actually found in the saliva and urine of the pets. So don't be surprised if allergies continue to hound you, even with a new pet. Another myth is that feather pillows cause allergic reactions, but side-by-side -side tests with anti-allergen pillows put that myth to rest. You actually have a higher content of dust mites, mold, and animal dander in the synthetic material than you do in the feathers. Finally, the myth about how lethal black mold can be in your home. Faruqi says it can cause allergic reactions, but rumors have spread faster than the mold itself. The more toxic and fatal sort of reactions that we hear about in the news reports really are, were based on weak evidence and have not been confirmed in testing. His advice? Clean your pet often, clean mold at first sight, and use clean, tightly woven pillow covers, and you can put these allergy myths to bed. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.